now let's uh, look at working out with uh, the final uh, element which is uh, the balance sheet now that we have a pnl statement as well as a cash flow statement my intention is to make a balance sheet and probably make sure that it balances the assets with the liabilities once i have that particular aspect then there uh, whatever the financial statements i have prepared they are of more and more of a comfortable level so that is what we'll try to uh, work out on our spreadsheet we will create one separate uh, sheet for balance sheet and the first uh, two aspects are more or less the same which i would repeat across saying if right you remember all this aspects if this is blank leave it as blank otherwise point out to this particular value so the first two things of my sheet are more or less common across and this is where i will work out for the next thing so now i will work out on the liabilities plus the owner's equity part wherein i will have the scenarios of debt right i'll have the scenarios uh, of uh, debt or outstanding loan i'll call it as loans outstanding or i have the scenario of equity capital as well as the reserves these are some of the key items right that are going as a part of our or uh, we also have a scenario of overdraft so even uh, let me cover the overdraft also because that's also a kind of a liability existing for a certain period of time so this is what will result in total liabilities plus owner's equity which is outstanding at the end of each period and at the same time i can look out for the assets wherein my focus is on fixed assets the net fixed assets which would be post the depreciation so i'll take it as the net fixed assets and uh, now that we have done some lease deposit the deposits are all uh, assets for us so i have i'll take care of lease deposits similarly the dsra is also a kind of an investment account for us so i'll consider dsra as an asset and even i have cash which would be considered as an asset and remember as a part of balance sheet all of them need to be the outstandings it's not for a specific year i have to consider the outstandings as of a particular period so that's where i'm considering uh, the total assets uh, uh total assets is always a summation or similarly total liabilities is also summation with respect to the previous all right so now let's see or probably will also have one balancing figure for a check sum which simply looks at the difference between the liabilities and assets or assets and liabilities just to make sure that we are not missing out on any of the elements okay first let's start with the loan outstanding where we talk about the borrowed money as well as repaid amount so during or whatever is the phase we have got into the borrowings as well as the repayment so all i can think of is okay the summation of what is my borrowing my borrowings part is present during the construction phase right so the debt from here to here whatever the borrowings i have done i am considering that part summation of the constructions part borrowing 
whereas and at the same time i'll take the summation of summation so i'll take the summation of the <coughs> construction cost borrowing and at the same time the operations in the operations i am doing a repayment so what i could take is the summation of whatever the repayments i am doing in each of the years so probably i'll take the loan repayment because it's already in the negative terms i'll take uh, the loan repayment with a with a dollar sign here which means i am doing a repayment as well as i'm i'm counting the total uh, loan taken and the total repayment done which is giving me the outstanding loan so for the first period my outstanding loan is coming to be something like this second yes 75.3 third again 75.3 because i don't have a principal repayment but from the fourth year or from the fourth year onwards there is some principal repayment going on so probably it is oh here we are getting zeros fair enough because we don't have any loan to be repaid because the loan got completely repaid by the 14th year itself the loan got completely repaid the loan outstanding at the end of the 15th year is becoming zero but slight adjustment what we can very well do is if this is blank i will retain it as blank at least so that i don't get so many zeros even beyond the period so just that cosmetic things we may have to uh, work out beyond this period i won't get any kind of 